everyone my name is shambhavi hope you all are doing well so today here i am back with another question from the lead code for you people to practice it out right so first of all i'll be explaining you like how you can just go over here practice out this question what's the logic behind applying up this question right how you can just simply deal with that we'll be learning with all of these perspective things then further even i'll be showing you about the practical implementation that how practically we can just write the sound question i'll be using up the google collab for this perspective thing okay in case if you are uh, having account on lead code so directly you can visit the lead code and there itself you can just write up this particular question so that you can just submit it also and um, get one of your uh, questions solved too okay um Okay, let, let, let's get started up here over very quickly with the same. So for this, my question is that we are having two version numbers. Okay, we are having the version number one and version two. And what do we have to do? We just have to compare them. Okay, we have to compare two versions: version one, version two. So, <coughs> sorry. What do these respective things? And let's see. So version numbers consist of one or more revisions joined by a dot. Okay. Every division consists of digits and may contain leading zeros. Every division contains at least one character. Divisions are zero index from left to right. Okay, index is from left to right. With the leftmost division being division zero and the next division being division one and so on. Okay, let's say we are having example two point five point three three and zero point one. Okay, so these are the valid version numbers. Okay, uh, from here, what version numbers exactly are? Uh, might you might have heard that? Okay, Python is having its version three point nine point something, right? Or maybe two point o version of something, right? This all you might have heard. So this is all just that simple thing, which is your version thing, right? Nothing more than that. So as to compare these version numbers, you will be just comparing out the divisions from left to the right orders, from left towards the right. Okay, divisions are compared during the same teacher value, ignoring any leading zeros. Okay, this means that division one and zero zero one are considered equal. Now, completely in this program, what do you have to do? Let's say you are having one version as one. Okay. And the other you are having as zero zero one. So we know that it will be treated similarly. Right? It just doesn't matter out if one is added onto the prefix. Right? It just really doesn't matter out uh, over here any time. Right? So for that you just have this zero zero one. That is the thing. And one, these both are absolutely equal. Okay? So in case a version number does not specify a division at an index, the treat the division as zero. Okay? For example, we are having version one point zero is less than version one point one. Absolutely right. It is absolutely a uh, Less than 1.1 because the reason the revision zeros are the same, but the revision ones are zero and one respectively. Perfectly okay, right? So, uh, what do we have to return in the output? We have to return if version one is less than version two. We have to return minus one. And in case the version one is greater than version two, you have to return one. Otherwise, simply return up zero over there. So, example says that. Uh, One input we are having version one, which is one point zero one. Version two, one point zero zero one. Okay, output will be zero, right? Because here just the matter is of leading zeros. In zero one and zero zero one, there is no such difference. Just a one more zero, the difference is over here, right? So that is completely the same. So you just have to represent the same integer. Similarly, for the example number two, in case you write one point zero in case you write one point zero point zero, again it is absolutely the same thing, right? And now, when I'm having 0.1 as my version one and 0.2 as my version 1.1, so condition was given that in case version one is smaller than version two, so we have to return minus one as an output. So this is guys what program we have to write down over here about this complete question. So it's it's pretty simple. Let let's very quickly start and write down the program. So for the first, I'm gonna like initialize up a class. In case you are going to use up the lead code IDE, you'll be having the class and the functions automatically made over there. You do not have to make them. Okay, you will get them. As I'm using Google Colab, I'll be creating these things on my own. Okay, so class is my solution. Then I will be just using def, and I'll be using here compare version as a function. Okay, we are say open. Inside that cell will be passed because that's the function inside the class. I'll be passing my parameters. One parameter is version one, and that would be str. Second will be my version, uh, ver version two, 
Okay, that is also going to be my STR. And my final answer is going to result me in the integer. Right? Because as we are given into the program, ki your final output will be into the integers only. Right? And that is it. I'm going to define two variables, ver1 and ver2. Okay? And for them, I'm going to use a bit split function. So ver1 dot split. And in the bracket, I'm going to split them with the dots. Same thing I'm going to do for my version 2. So we are to a new variable. Version 2 as a variable. Goes over here split. Again the same. Split will just simply help me to separate the digits. Separate the values which you are having. Which are leading every dot between the numbers. Between the digits. Okay. We'll take i as a so one more variable. And put that as 0 over here. Okay. Setting the maximum length. Really in... Okay, maximum length, uh, I'll be just first of all trying to find it. So I'll be using max function very simply. Finding the length of my VER1 variable. Similarly, the length of my VER2 variable. Okay, condition goes while i is less than max length. Okay, i is less than the max length that variable. So I'll be making my v1 as a new variable. I'll be setting that integer of version 1 in bracket of i. Okay, my condition will go that if i is less than length of my version 1, okay, else 0. So this condition is that if this particular condition satisfies the file is in length of version 1, so it will simply print me the integer of that particular value, otherwise 0. Similarly, I'm going to apply this more, one more condition for my v2 as well. So integer, this is going to be my word 2, ver2. In the bracket, I'm going to set that as i. Okay. And goes with my condition that if, one second. Yeah. If i is less than length of my ver2, length of my version 2, I'm going to set the else condition as 0 over here again. My condition goes that if a version 1, sorry, not version 1, v1, we made a new variables. If v1 is less than v2, so in that case, what do we have to return? As mentioned, I'll be returning a minus 1 over here, right? Next, I'll be going with lf. lf, my second condition goes that lf, my v1, is greater than v2. To that respective case, now what do I have to return again? I'm returning minus 1 over here. And apart from that, we are having else. So moving down with my else condition, I'll be applying it. What do I require in the else? One second. So inside us, I'll be just writing i plus equal to 1. So I'll just gonna increment that out. Right? And just coming out of my while loop, I'll just return up 0 over here as the final result. Okay? So this is what simply we had to do into this complete one, all right? We just simply had to uh, like print this particular solution, make a class, make it a function for the same, check it out and split out all the things. Okay, here we are having max, okay, Ali, Ali and length. My variable was wrong. Now perfectly okay. And yeah, apart from that, we just have these few factors over here, v1, v2, and everything. And that is it, what we had to do up over here, right? So I hope I'm pretty clear with the same stuff about the, like, how you can solve this complete question. It was pretty a simple question. Just the thing was the question seemed to a little bit longer. So if you might have read this question onto your end with a little bit of patience, you might have solved this completely onto your end because there was just nothing simple. If else conditions had to be applied and it was all done right so you can just try um writing this program onto your ides of your lead code try running it out running this out and i hope it might satisfy the use cases which you mentioned up over there right so hope you had got the idea i'll be seeing you with a few uh, more uh, questions into the upcoming videos this is all for this video till then thank you and take care